na mtazamaji baada ya kushuhudia kifo kwa macho akiwa na umri wa miaka kumi na miwili katika mkasa wa moto katika kanisa la Kiamba mjini Eldoret baada ya ghasia za uchaguzi mwaka 2008 Anthony Mbudhia anatuelezea jinsi alivyoweza kuponea tundu la sindano Mbudhia aliyeugua vibaya kichwani mikononi na maeneo mengine mwilini amefanyiwa upasuaji takriban mara mia moja katika hospitali mbalimbali hapa nchini na hata Marekani miaka kumi na mitano baadaye Mbudhiana simulia hadithi yake ya machungu na mwishowe kaibuka mshindi. Alimjuza mwanahabari wetu Martin Kwangu kwamba sasa ameandika kitabu. So once they went inside the church it was locked from outside. They put the mattresses on there and the bikes so you couldn't push it out and then when we were inside the church they lit it on fire. I remember that next days when the pain started I started feeling the pain my head uh my hands and then i followed a series of a uh, series of surgeries for like five years you know in and out of surgeries i've had uh almost i think over 70 surgeries in kenya and uh 25 24 i think total in, in the u.s so i've had over 100 surgeries like in my whole life during one of the surgeries that i was having in the states things didn't go right i don't know i think it's either the, the medicine they gave me but as soon as I started having, I went into the operation room, as soon as I started having surgery, my heart stopped. And I practically, pretty much died. And that's what they say happened. All the doctors, they had to be rushed to Shriners Hospital to figure out how they can bring me back. And I remember they had to resuscitate me because when I woke up, I had so much pain in my chest. And that's how I knew they had to uh, do CPR on me to bring me back. I believe that there was a higher calling uh, over me and that's why I even chose to, wrote, to write a book and uh, pursue that because I was like, this, this, I was born to be somebody and I'm going to push that and I believe that it's God that gives me these ideas, the vision. In the States, people would ask me, why do you still go to church? Why are you involved in church? You were burnt in a church. Why are you not bitter? Why you, you know, I would expect you to have anger, to hate people. But I believe that most of my healing has happened internally and outside because of forgiveness. Na bila shaka mtazamaji ni taarifa nzito la